encourage people to start with where they're at. Start with the free trade setup, start with these AUAs, get into the Telegram group. We have the training available publicly. We want people to get in, see results without having to pay for a subscription yet, because we know you make some profits with us, likely it'll continue, right? But also we want you to win. That's the big thing here. We're around to help change lives, not just sell subscriptions, right? So this is all live. There's videos available, step-by-step -step tutorials, how to avoid fake outs right now is super important. So that's actually one I want to touch on. Uh, you can go through this on your own time. We, we hit it pretty much every week, every call. Uh, it is super important, but this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking avoiding fake outs. So these wicks, these nasty little wicks, that's where we want to see it break above, come down and close with a solid bar. Um, I think, Justin, do you have that screenshot on PundiX by chance handy? Um, we'll have another example down here lower that uh, will show. Uh, yes. So making support. So this can be a little bit hard to see, but as long as the candle closes, this is a four hour chart and you can see when it's going to close. Nice, strong green candle. The next one closes on it, as you can see here and it's another strong candle so that is what we talk about when making support when we break below stop loss like we have with block uh, we would just want to wait so we've got the entry line the next question was what does wait for support mean so we've got an article that i'll show here in just a second but that's where when this trade is posted we want to see this break above our entry line and make support. So when it's on this EMA, it's if it holds, great. That can make for an early entry if the market allows. BTC, we I put an early entry in myself. BTC crushed everything out. So that's where that stop loss protects you and your funds. With that, where I had that entry or we had that entry, it was like a two or three percent stop loss. So for that, very minimal compared to some of the other, you know, if we wrote it all the way down, then it could be 10, 15%, right? So it happens fast. But basically what we look for is a breakout above the entry line. So this is getting a bit more technical. Uh, well, we keep it super basic, but there are a lot of technicalities behind the scenes that Nico and I use to protect our members. The biggest thing is waiting for support. So this is a confirmed breakout. The reason we do this is so that you've got time to assess the trade setup, to take a look, look at the allocation size, and you might have a day to put that allocation in. If you're working a full-time job, if you're a full-time you know, parent at home or whatever, it's not always easy to just be like, oh, an alert came in, put the trade in and then go about my day. There's a lot more, especially with the way the markets are, you can't just do that. As much as that would be beautiful, it doesn't work effectively. Um, whereas if you wait for support, statistically speaking, you have an 85 plus percent chance of seeing take profits. Right. And that's going back over a year now. So that's where typically we do see it even might even hit TP1 and then come back down. Right. Where it might come down lower and just hang out there for a little while and then start making its way back up. So this is an example of one that did not do that. We covered this last week. We got stopped out for those that took the early entry, but it never made support. So this is not uh, a trade setup that I would take yet, especially as a new user, stick with the support. Don't worry about the early entries or any of that yet. Um, but this could rebound. So from here, if it drops lower, you know, I might take the trade. Typically what we see is this EMA, this was green, now red, provides a lot of resistance if it breaks down and below. So that's where it got rejected once, twice, dropped lower. This thing could turn around, break above, make support on that so, uh, stop loss line and continue making its way back up. It's happened before um, quite often, but we want to be cautious because it can hit that EMA and then drop way lower again too. So um, hopefully that answers your question.